today we get to go offshore and rather than trolling for wahoo we get to troll more specifically for dolphin Most of my dolphin experience has been fishing out of the Florida Keys, but today we're fishing out of Northeast Florida, which ironically is where we usually fish, just not for dolphin. We started trolling ballyhoo and some lures. Well, actually, we started eating breakfast, which was fried chicken. And I don't know if you know this, but fried chicken's really good out on the boat. Actually, it's really good anywhere, right? If I want a piece of chicken, Mike. So we started trolling our ballyhoo and lures, and it's kind of tough, because the sargasm weed is really scattered. Now what would be nice is if you had a really solid line that you can troll on either side of. But today it's just broken up. So we're constantly getting sargasm weed in our lures. Uh, no, we just ran through some grass. Careful on the patches. Yeah, I mean you can troll down the side, just try not to go through it. I don't have a easy fix for that. You just gotta watch your lures as they get tangled, untangle them, and send them back out. It's work, but that's what you gotta do. But we're in a good area, a couple hundred feet of water, and that's when we get our first strike on our way back to tuna lure. Now we get a fish on, which is pretty exciting. But surprisingly, that wasn't the most exciting thing going on at the moment. You see this bird, I don't know where the bird came from, but it came up to our boat, and then I guess I guess it needed a break. It was a little bird, I don't know how it got way out there, you know, but it came and it started like chilling out on our boat and it would even like land on my dad's hand and stuff it was it was like just real friendly it's kind of funny fish on and they're distracted by a bird hey there. That is too cool. what's up a bird landed on his hand uh, uh, yeah i think so Okay, you ready? Yeah. But anyways, back to the fish. We clear all the other lines that might get in the way. I got this one. Right, pop that out of the clip, and that'll be okay, because his was way back, so it's not gonna really get in any of the other ones. Now, my tuna line is way back. I mean, like, literally half the spool of a 30 wide back. Uh, keep, it, keep it going away from him, okay? So Keith is finding the fish. We get it up, comes close to the boat, we see it's a nice black fin tuna. Either way. Right? Yeah, I'll watch okay. you the first, do the first one. Well, you got your hat, hat pretty good, so. Huh? You got your hat pretty it good. It took me three tries, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got color. Keep them coming. Uh, a little more. I did it. Jeez. Nice one, Oh, that's a nice one. That's pretty thin now, guys. Oh! Yeah. It makes me feel better, Mike. It took me three times, too. That is a big fish. It didn't seem like he was pulling that hard, but that's a good sized tuna. Uh -huh. I think it seemed like it to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got nine miles of line on that pole, I'm starting to cramp up. You got him just by the skin, too, Jeremy. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, one time I, I gaffed a kingfish, and I got it. Literally, the, the fork of the tail was in between here. It wasn't gaffed at all, it's just the, the hook got yeah, in like that. Him. Yeah. It was on a lure that I decided to use the night before. I thought about doing like a cedar plug or maybe a small ballyhoo, but I was like, you know, I'll give this lure a try. Turns out, it did its job. It caught us a good fish. So that was really cool. Got our fish on. It's also cool because that bird was still hanging around. Got that bird on him. I'm like a pirate. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I didn't even see him. Pirate with. You got a fish room? You turn that salt water on. <laughs> Anyways, back to fishing. Uh, we trolled for a while, went deeper water, came back. Fortunately, we just weren't finding them school of the dolphin like we'd hoped. 
So with it being kind of slow, we decided, hey, let's drop down on the bottom and see what we can get. We were trolling over the ledge because I wanted to find some good bottom structure to try to drop down on. And I wasn't really seeing anything that looked real good. But finally, as we're going, I see like a little bit on the bottom. And there's also a school of some sort of fish up top. It wasn't really much to go on, but you know, we were wanting to drop down and everyone had their bottom rigs ready. So I was like, you know, let's just see what it is. We drop down, each of the guys pull up two nice trigger fish. So apparently that school was actually the trigger fish hanging up because they didn't even make it to the bottom. Yeah, one or two. One. Where's the big fatty though? Check that side. Oh. He, he kept a a trigger. Yeah. Uh, no, I got me a porgy. I dig it? Yeah. That lure's right under the boat. So we started fishing that area. Yeah. And it was kind of funny. I mean, the bottom that I'm marking, it wasn't like real pronounced. You know, there wasn't a lot of deep red structure. I mean, I couldn't really see the ledges or anything that came up off the bottom real high. It was kind of like plain. I mean, I normally probably wouldn't, you know, just fish on something like that. But it's a good thing that we started to because we started catching fish. We were catching nice porgy as well as trigger fish. And we just uh, drift fish it. We would come up to this area, they drop down, and uh, we typically pull up nice fish. There you go. Trigger fish. Yeah. Oh, doubles. Double fat boys. Oh, double pink. Iron whites. Yeah. Uh, 4G. Yeah. It's like you guys catch all the pinks on that side and the triggers on this side. No, but that's a bad too. I guess, you know, it goes to show you, you don't always need huge stuff for there to be fish holding on it. And because it's deeper than we're usually fishing, that bottom may be more pronounced than I realize, but, you know, just at scale, looking at my depth recorder, it doesn't seem like as much as, you know, it doesn't look real good. Our setups were pretty simple. We are using uh, double hook rigs, kind of a heavier weight, 12 to maybe even 16 ounce bank sinkers, uh, number four alt owner circle hooks, and then just uh, squid or other cut bait to catch these fish. Did you put guys will put squid on there? Um, oh, go ahead. Uh, oh, look inside that one. Uh, that pink, I guarantee you that pink ain't Overall, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope y'all learned some stuff. If you got any questions, just comment below. Subscribe for weekly updates and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So, see you guys next time.